So in this exercise, we will be generating a Fibonacci sequence. So what is a Fibonacci sequence? This is a Fibonacci sequence. So as you can see, the third number is the sum of the previous two numbers. And then this is the sum of previous two numbers. And then this, that is 3, is the sum of previous two numbers. That is 2 plus 1 equals to 3. The next one will be 3 plus 3 equals to 5. The next one will be 5 plus 3 equals to 8. So this is what we will be generating. Now we will be taking user input. That is how long we want to generate the FIFO and G sequence for. So it's if the user has input 1, it's 0. If user has input 2, it's 0, 1. If 3, 0, 1, 1. And so on. So now for this sequence, it is 7 because we have 7 numbers. 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. So like in the previous exercises, first let's create a function. And then we will take user input and then pass user input to that function and then we will print the output. So first, let's call this function generate fib, All right? And then what we will do, what we will take, we will take as an input the length of this sequence. So let's call it n. And what happens is initially it's 0, 1, right? So we initialize the sequence in the beginning. So that is fib equals to a list that is 0, 1. So this is an array in other languages. This is called a list in Python. And what we do is we use a while loop. Length is length of our loop is less than n that is the number of numbers we want in a Fibonacci sequence what we do is next term becomes our sequences last term that is minus one now this is a very powerful function in python so when we do minus one it will take the last number that is one and when we do minus two it will take the second last number so if one uh, when we are reading from the left we use one comma two comma three so uh, as you know in arrays zero is the first digit one is the second item of the array and three two is the third item of the array and so on but when we want to read from the end in python what we do is minus one is the last one minus two is the last two so this is what we need so because the next sequence in fibonacci sequence the next, next number in Fibonacci sequence is always the sum of previous two numbers. So these are the previous two numbers and this is the next number. And then what we do is in our array or list, we just append the current calculated term. That is this one. So our Fibonacci sequence is ready. And when we are out of this loop, what we do is we need to return our Fibonacci sequence so that this can be used Okay, now what we do is we take user input All right. and when we have input here, we need to convert it to integer, right? So let's say numeric input equals to integer and then we convert user input to integer because this is a string when we take input from the user okay now what we need to do is we need to just generate the sequence so s eq equals to generate sequence gen deep sequence and the input is num input and finally our sequence is here now we just need to print it so Let's print it. And again, we will use f strings as I've shown you before. I like it very much. And so the first, how many terms? First user input or this both are, sorry, num input. The first num input that is called 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or anything that user has entered. Terms of the Fibo sequence is what is it? It is this. So we write sequence here. So now you might be beginning to see the 
power of f strings and why I love it. So let's try to run this. So let's say we want to generate the first 55 storms. Hit enter and here is it. Here it is. The first 55 sequences of Fibonacci sequences. It's too long. Let's try to uh, run this again and this time we will just generate probably six numbers so six okay so this is it so as you can see we have six digits here the first is zero one the third is zero plus one the fourth is one plus one fifth is two plus one and we are now done if you have any questions let me know in the comments below